Jesus and some of the disciples have now left the synagogue. And they go and they enter the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law has been in bed with a fever. So they're entering a home with a woman who is sick and potentially contagious. And Jesus goes to where the mother-in-law is. And one of the miracles, the powerful gifts of Jesus takes place. Jesus entered the room where the mother-in-law is and he took her by the hand lifted her up and the fever left her she gets up she gets herself around and she begins to serve them she's present with them and being a hostess tending to their needs as they are together in fellowship and care for one another they spend this time with her. And that revelation of Jesus' power is right there before them. As you take somebody who has been sick, very sick with fever, and is now well, as if there were no fever. They spend time in that home. And then evening time, sundown has come. And people bring to him all who are sick or possessed with demons. The whole city was gathered around the door. Jesus not only brought Simon's mother-in-law back to wellness. See, he cured many. He cured those who were ill. He cured those who were possessed with demons. He cured those who were sick. The whole city gathered around the home of Simon and Andrew. What a sight that must have been. Various diseases, many demons, but Jesus would not allow the demons to speak because they knew him. He cast them out and gave liberty to the sick and the possessed. Then later in that evening, they get some rest. They spend the night in that home. Early morning comes along and then Jesus and the disciples, they are on their way. Jesus goes to a deserted place where he prays. When the disciples find him, they will let him know that everyone is searching for him. But Jesus says, let us be on the move. So let us not settle where we are, but let us be on the move. And they begin to go to the neighboring communities and the story continues to grow. It continues to grow because Jesus is on the move to reveal the truth that God is love, that God is healing. The God is the source of all things. Revealing a truth to the people. And the scripture says, And Jesus went throughout the Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. 
Jesus did not come to destroy, but to restore health and wholeness. Jesus came to build, not to tear down. Jesus came to reveal the truth of God's love and God's kingdom. And the people in the Galilee are hearing this and they're seeing the power. And they cannot keep it to themselves. They go out to proclaim the good news to their own neighbors. And others are searching for Jesus and they run to the neighboring towns and they proclaim the good news about Jesus. And people come running and searching for him. It's no wonder that when we get to the story of the feeding of the 5,000 and the 10,000, that there are so many there because they've heard the good news. Many have witnessed it with their own eyes and they've heard it with their own ears and their spirit was touched. There's something about this Jesus this Jesus of Nazareth. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? The good has come. And the good is revealing the love of God. The good is a healer and a transformer. The good is one who brings people from diverse groups and backgrounds and for many different communities, it calls them together in this one love. We're about to begin the season of Lent. And during that time, there will be time for us to ponder, to think, to discern, to pray. To wander. And then to see the great revelation of Jesus on Easter. We are on a journey. We are on a journey to build the kingdom of God. We are on a journey that is in community. The scripture that we have today is a revelation of Jesus. It is a revealing of the powers that he has. It's a revelation of our call as a people to be healers, to transform, to be part of a community, and to restore the community to wholeness as we also reach out to the wider community to build the kingdom. So I ask you this. You have come to the home of Simon and Andrew with James and John. You have seen, you've seen the miracle of Simon's mother-in-law being healed. Even greater, you have witnessed and seen the miracles of others who have been ill be made well. And then there are those who have been possessed, who've been restored to wholeness. What do you do with that knowledge? What do you what do you do with what you have witnessed? Do you keep it to yourself and not share it? Or do you spring forth and go out and share the good news? Mark, in his gospel writing, is sharing with us the good news. Not because it's a good story. Not because it warms our heart and touches us. But to call us to action. To call us to reach out, to go out, to proclaim 
the good news. Jesus of Nazareth really is Jesus, the Messiah, Jesus, the Christ, the favored one of God. And his message is one of healing and restoration, of mending and wholeness, of building and revealing the love of God for all, for all people. As we prepare for Lent, let us take time to think about this message in Mark 1, verses 29 through 39, and ask ourselves, where are we in the story? Are we one of the disciples? Are we one of the guests in Simon's home? Are we like Simon's mother-in-law, ill, in needing of that special touch to have the fever break? Are we one of the neighbors who comes with illness, with virus, with disease, with something broken within our body? Are we coming with the demons that we carry? Are we coming to watch? Are we coming to be healed? Are we coming to have that which troubles us released and taken away, giving us wholeness and new life? Where are you in the story? And if you were writing the next few sentences or the next chapter of this story, how would you share it? What is the revelation that you see? And how, how can that help build the kingdom of God? The scripture is there for us to be empowered. It's there for us to study. It's there for us to be challenged. And it's there for us to challenge so that we may grow. Finding the tools and the resources, the ingredients for the building of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. As we prepare for the kingdom that is and is to be, let us continue the journey in the love of Jesus Christ. Amen.